It's 2024 and Ambition made a tattoo power supply that is a watch. We have watches now that power our tattoo machines. How interesting. Full disclosure, I am sponsored by Ambition. I do get set machines and products from Ambition for free and I do make a commission for each sale that I make. However, that does not exclude me from having a negative opinion on a product that I am sent for free and or a potential of commission. With that said, we will begin the review. On the Amazon listing, we have a one-time purchase fee of $55.99. The description reads as a tattoo power supply, Ambition S1, touchscreen tattoo battery, wristband, supply portable RCA tattoo, 1600 milliamp hour battery. It is a lithium battery. We also have a LCD touch display for rotary tattoo machine. Cool. S1 with a braided strap will run you $55.99. The S1 with a silicone strap will run you $65.99. Packaging model that I received was the $65.99. This is Amazon. I am sure it will be roughly the same price on their website. As we're getting into the materials of this product, we are seeing that the Ambition Touchscreen Watch Power Supply is made of aluminum alloy frame and CNC carved. Upgraded battery, 1600 milliamp hour battery. High sensitivity buttons, more convenient to operate. Okay, working voltage is 4.5 to 12 volts. Can work for up to five hours on the output of a voltage of eight volts. Automatically lock the screen three minutes after power on. Swipe up to deactivate the lock mode. HD touch screen, three voltage modes. We have a fixed voltage, four memory modes corresponding to five volts, seven volts, nine volts, and 11 volts. Touch the middle of the display to switch modes. Increase to decrease by voltage of 0.1 volts. Slide the display left to right to adjust the voltage by 0.1 volts. In layman's terms, that means swipe it, you go 0.1 voltage, whether that be decrease or increasing or tap for 1.0 increase or 1.0 decrease. I probably could have started with that. No bother. All the other information on this machine can be read on the website. Otherwise, we'll be here reading a book. I don't think you're here to read a book. This is a visual novel. This product has 4.2 out of 5 stars on Amazon. Being that it's relatively new and highly memed on on Instagram, I think that's pretty good decent. I think it's a pretty good review so far on the machine, at least on Amazon's part. Before I get into my experience, I'm going to let you know that I am giving this machine away, or rather power supply this watch I'm giving it away is what I'm saying this is not a spoiler on how I feel about this product this is just something that I do on my channel kind of cool right majority of the things that I am sent unless it is helping me pay my bills I give away for free over on patreon four dollars a month tattoo supplies tattoo tips exclusive tattoo videos little fun tattoo community I'm also very approachable on Instagram so if you have any questions regarding any products I've reviewed thus far or want to request a product for me to review feel free to message me on Instagram let me know feel free to message a company that you want me to have something sent from them and review it chances are I might send it to you I'm only one man I got two hands I only need three machines roughly. A lot like this product, this video is going to be experimental to where I'm going to share a lot of my feelings here as well as at the shop. I'm going to hand it off to me at the shop using this product and then I'll see you in a minute. So I'm pretending I just stenciled somebody. I got them set up. They're right here. I got my miscellaneous stuff I'm going to test this with to make sure it's outputting everything correctly. But I'm thinking that as soon as this goes on, I can't do anything. One thing I was actually thinking of immediately, if I don't have enough paper towels right away for the tattoo, if I have to get more, I have to undo this, take my gloves off, completely redo this setup, and then tattoo the client. This just feels a little silly in this context. If they're stenciled, like you can't just like, all right, you're stenciled and then set it up and they have, cause if they have to get up and go to the bathroom, you just sit here like this waiting for them. Cause you can't just like rest it, right? What time is it? Tattoo time. It's interesting because I feel like it adds a little bit of weight to your wrist. And if you're not used to having weight on your wrist, that might be a little detrimental. I think this is like a cool idea and it's like funny and fun, but you're just locked in until whatever you're doing is done. It's just something feels off. The machine feels too light because I was used to it having a battery on it and or a cable 
with less weight on my wrist. So this just kind of feels new and weird. It's not affecting anything negatively. It just doesn't feel right. I'm starting to think just ballpoint pen for cross contamination issues and comfortability. It's not bad. It's just definitely, I wouldn't use this for this or human skin. It is easy to adjust the voltage. It is easy to see everything, but I think it's a lot easier to see it on the top of the machine or just a power supply on your tattoo station. So cool idea, kind of fun, kind of neat, kind of cool. I don't like the straps, however. I'm not offended by it. I just don't think it's a good idea for tattooing. Good idea for people that want to make art with electricity though. Good ever. The current does feel pretty accurate. The current does feel that as if I had the battery on it. I'm not feeling any dips in it or anything like that. It does feel just pretty consistent. So good battery, yes, just I don't think this is the best idea for it. If I were to go to the bathroom or need to go do something, like let's say I have to answer the door, just do that and then take this off. I get up and get to go pee. I would need help to wrap that back onto me. Unless there's a better way that I don't know, but I don't think that's awesome. I think it is worth the money. I think it's cool. I think it's a really good idea to get it if you want to make ballpoint art, not for tattooing. I think only for ballpoint pen, only because it's kind of a hassle to wrap. I think if you're using ballpoint pen and you're just kind of messing around with cards like this, these are from Mosu. They have ones from Sweet Tooth. They have ones from Illumino. I think just for this is fine. I think it's cool for this and this only. I use it on fake skin and I don't feel confident with using it on human skin only because it is such a hassle to wrap. You can't take breaks. You are very much limited to just this power supply for the duration of the tattoo. Whether that be a small tattoo or a large tattoo, I really do like taking piss breaks. If it's wrapped and you're tattooing with it, you can't take a break, you can't do anything. It's only right-handed as well, no lefties. I do think it's a cool idea and I think it's funny, but I think if it's a meme, sure, get it, kind of cool, kind of funny, kind of sick. However, I think if you're gonna be thinking it's for tattooing human skin, no, I don't think it's a good idea. There's too many cons for tattooing it, whether that be cross-contamination, longevity, comfortability. Even fake skin, I don't think it's a good idea for that, being that you would have to unwrap it completely, you can't put the machine down, you can't take a break, you can't do anything. Once it's wrapped and once it's set up, you're just kind of locked in until it's done, or the battery dies. But I think if you have a cheap little tattoo machine, this is an Ambition tattoo machine. I think this was like 50 bucks, 40 bucks, the watch, I believe, is $69.99. I know on their website, it may be a different price. But I think outside of this pairing for ballpoint pen use with brands such as Mosu, Apentis, and or Sweet Tooth, I think that's really it. Ballpoint pen are only, I think, is the only thing I can really recommend this with. If you're interested in getting the watch, I think you can only use it for ballpoint pen art safely. Honestly, too many things, cross-contamination, comfortability, like I said before. Cool product, it is a cool idea. I think it is funny. However, it's not practical tattooing. Ballpoint pen, fine. You don't have to wrap it, you have to do anything. However, if you're gonna buy this, don't use it for tattoos, don't use it for fake skin, only use it for ballpoint pen art because you don't have to wrap it and you have a little cheap machine from Ambition or a different brand. Just make cool dot art. If only they had something like this, just on top of the machine. That'd be really cool. Or like this just went to a power supply, not on your wrist. I think that would also be cool. In terms of weight, this doesn't really weigh a whole lot. And I think compared to their battery, which has the exact same interface, I think just rock the battery. Ballpoint pen only. Back to me at home. Yeah what that guy said. To say the least, I think it's interesting. While I think it's a cool idea to have a watch power your tattoo machine, in practice, it is actually not very practical. There are a lot of cross-contamination issues when it comes to a product like this. This product did come with three separate watch straps. However, they were difficult to put in. I felt these straps were just Apple watches that they had fixed to this product. While some fit, some did not. And while some was fitting, some stopped fitting. Eventually I found myself just using saran wrap and turning into a makeshift strap for this while wrapping it. That did not impede on using the actual product. I was able to adjust the voltage. I was able to read my voltage and comfortably use it. However, I was not a fan of the straps this product came with. I felt this battery worked just as well as the batteries on the other machines that it came from. And overall, very responsive. I could clearly read the screen. The watch wasn't very heavy. However, it is not made for lefties. I'm not a lefty, but I am marrying a lefty. However, these are things I'm legally contractually obligated to acknowledge. Throughout my time using this machine, it was very quickly apparent that this was not meant for a tattoo shop. I feel there's no place with tattoos or tattooing or fake skin tattooing. I do think it is, however, a good product for ballpoint art. I think if this product was promoted as a ballpoint pen power source, 
I think then that would be a different story. Being that it's promoted for tattooing, I don't recommend it, I don't think it's a good idea, and I don't think it's smart. It's definitely not safe. Cool idea? Yes. However, on paper, things just look better sometimes. This I would only recommend for ballpoint art. The material of the straps would not matter if it's made for ballpoint art. The hassle of trying to figure out a cleanly way to wrap it would not be an issue. So if you're someone that was interested in purchasing this for tattooing, I would tell you not to. I would highly recommend against it. Two types of people are going to buy this. People that love a meme, they think it's funny. Your grandmother might think it's like really, really useful. Three, actually. Someone using it for ballpoint pen art. Cool product, cool idea. It's the wrong direction though. I think a different marketing strategy would have done them a lot of good. Even though I am sponsored, I am still entitled to my own opinion. They do not force my hand on saying anything positive, which I respect. However, for this product, I think it should be a companion to ballpoint pen tattoo art only. Not tattooing on human skin and not tattooing on fake skin. People on Instagram have been pretty quick to be mean to them. Understandable. We're a bunch of scumbags. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on another time. Currently midnight. Don't know why I decided to film all this now. I haven't even showered today. You can probably tell. All right, what did we learn? Wipe your butt.